Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. Man United fans, it seems like we're saying the things every week. Is this the week Jose will be sacked? Jose Mourinho is a black cloud over this club. Now, I always knew we'd struggle after Fergie, but what's happened in the past six years is absolutely ridiculous. And I mean, someone like me who really wanted Jose should have saw this coming. He's so bad for this club. And he's against the manager who's in a similar position in Mark Hughes. Now, Mark Hughes is a Manchester United legend, no question. But I think we see him as maybe a little bit of an enemy of Manchester United. He doesn't seem to be that in love with us anymore. Maybe that's because of the way he left the club. He never felt he should have been um, jettisoned so soon. But really, that's an issue he should have with Sir Alex, not with us, the fans, or Manchester United as a club. And he's not doing well at Southampton. I've heard Southampton fans say they expect Manchester United to go there and win. But where's this overconfidence coming from, Manchester United fans? We struggle to beat a part-time outfit. A team we should have thrashed 6 or 7 nil. We had to rely on Fellaini scoring an illegal goal to get us through to the next stages. And I mean, I'm no Liverpool supporter. I love Manchester United. But when I think that Liverpool may not qualify for the next round and we have maybe the gods of football should be sacked um and i'm going to get a lot of hate from manchester united fans there but when you see how we've qualified and the beautiful football that liverpool have played um and you know what i'm fed up with the manchester united fandom and the jose supporters is the spin you know because everyone was up in arms because of jose's reaction to um rashford missing that chance now listen people react um, Fergie did it and the Josie supporters this is what annoyed me they were showing videos of Fergie getting angry with Ronaldo when he missed the chance the difference is Ronaldo was a world-class player uh, you know at the top of his confidence Rashford is a young player who's had his confidence sucked away by this man manager right he's played him on the on the wing he's played him everywhere but up front so when he gets to play up front he's so worried he thinks about his chances too much because he wants to keep his place. One of the problems with Jose's management is that he doesn't play the same week, the same team every week. There's no, um, there's no consistency in selection, and you can't have a successful, consistent winning side when you don't consistently pick the first, the same team every week. He's got his favourites. We know that. We know he's got Matic, Fellaini, uh, Lukaku. The problem is with Lukaku, he's not a very good player. But Paul Scholes said it great. I think we can compare this to the Andy Cole situation when he first came to United. When he first came to United, he was missing chance after chance. Fergie was trying to make him an all-round player, which wasn't working for Andy, and he was struggling. His confidence was struggling. But the difference was there. It, it, he did turn him into an all-round player, and he, not, he ended up with Dwight York being a fantastic player striker all around Europe and now he's revered for being a great Manchester United forward. The problem with Lukaku in comparison to Cole, Cole could do that. Lukaku isn't a footballer. He can score goals and that's it. So you should just put him up front as a goal hanger, right? And let him head of things in, get lucky goals off his shins and things like that. The problem is he's not really, and I know there's a lot of talk about this in kind of the fandom as well, um, not a Manchester United player, but he's not. If you think of a Manchester United player, you think of Best and Charlton and Ronaldo and Giggs and Cantona. Is he anything like that? But this is the type of player you get when you bring in Jose Mourinho as your manager. And nothing's going to change until we get rid of this guy. Some of us are wishing for a defeat today, today right? But a lot of people say that's disloyal, you shouldn't. I don't want Manchester United to lose. But if he does lose and he gets the sack, hey, it's a happy accident. The reality is here, he has to go. You can defend him to me till the cows come home. But at the end of the day, he should not be our manager. You know it and I know it. Um, he's not going to turn this around. This is not Fergie against Palace. Um, Jose's had his Palace lots of times. This is year three. And in year three, he's made mistakes in the transfer market while at the same time hinting that he hasn't been supported in the transfer market 400 million pounds later. And he does it with a straight face. 
he hints that he hasn't got the right team to succeed when he's had the funds to build a team. From the beginning, he wasn't exiting the players he should have. I was shocked, and a lot of United fans were shocked, the players he left, because he, he likes hard-working players, right? That's what he likes. He likes hard work over skill. That's a problem. Now, what's really strange to me, when he first came into Chelsea, he was given money, he brought in the players he wanted, but he inherited some good players as well. This is the difference here. He inherited John Terry. He didn't have to worry about the back line. And this kind of thing that's going around the internet as well, that it's Ruiz Ferreira all these years that's been the master tactician and the great manager, and it's just Mourinho who's just been riding his coattails. I actually believe that. I, I truly do. So we have got a fraud as a manager. So let's focus on this game. Not that I'm good at tactics or anything like that. Listen, um, my knowledge of football is not very high. I'm a Manchester United supporter, first and foremost. I love the club, so that gives me every right to talk about uh, about the team that I love. Um, but what I think today, he's definitely going to start with Lukaku. He's going to punish Paul Rashford for missing a chance. And you know what? When people say he missed lots of chances, some of those chances weren't even easy chances, right? I mean, he did miss a couple he should have scored from. But scoring goals is all about confidence. So no Rashford today. Uh, Lukaku, I think, definitely. Martial, I don't know. He may play him on the wing. Because um, even though Martial didn't play well against young boys, because let's be honest, nobody really played well. And, you know, you've got the mystery that is Paul Pogba. You know, played so well in Juventus, does OK in patches for United. I think until we get a new manager and we see um, if he is a problem, if he is a fraud and he isn't a player we think he is, we can't really judge Paul Pogba. We can't judge any player until this manager goes. And his time is near. Believe me, believe me, this, forget what's being said in the papers and the spin some of um, Mourinho's journo friends are spin, spitting out. If he don't finish top four, he ain't keeping his job. And the reality is here, it, it's going to be very soon, in the next maybe six to ten games, impossible to qualify for the Champions League via the league process, that, which means he'd have to win the European Cup. Now, could Manchester United win the Champions League? Um, it would... You know, we'd have to be as lucky every game as we were against Juventus. And let's be honest, we were lucky against young boys, an amateur outfit. We we had to rely on, an, you know, an illegal goal. So um, this is what it is to be Manchester United now. It's it's depressing. After that victory, I was just depressed. I just thought, you know, they won the moral victory. They were actually in, in patches better than us. And that says everything. So I would repeat to you what I said at the top of the show, fellow Manchester United fans. If we can just about beat young boys with an illegal goal, what gives you the confidence that we can beat Southampton? Yeah, they're in the bottom three. They're not confident. They're not playing well. Guess what? We're not playing well. We're not confident. We couldn't score in a brothel, right? Shane Wayne got Wayne Rooney because he's quite experienced at that. I had to put that in, didn't I? But... You know, what gives you the confidence, Manchester United fans? Comment down below that we're going to win this game. Um, the thing is with United, they do pull out surprising performances like in, in the Chelsea game where we played well and should have won it, but then our defence was crap. And this is why the conspiracy theory about Rui Ferreira is coming out because this year, defensively, we've been shit. We're now on, what, zero or minus goal difference? It's disgusting. Man a Manchester United team at least should have a good goal difference, should be scoring goals. Even if we're having a crap season, we should be playing well, scoring goals. Then, kind of, we wouldn't be so against this manager and we probably wouldn't want him out. But... The reality is you can't make someone something that they are not. And he is not that type of manager. And now what he is, he's digging in. This is what Mourinho does. When he's up against it, he digs in and he tries to get himself out of it. He talks about his critics coming off the sunbeds in Barbados. I'll say this to you, Jose, right? You've got critics because you deserve to have critics. This is an open season on Jose Mourinho. This isn't a, some kind of agenda. I wanted you at this club. A lot of us wanted you at this club. And you attacked us after the severe game, saying it was our fault that we lost because our expectations should be lowered. No, this is Manchester United. Just like Juventus and Barcelona, Real Madrid and Liverpool got great histories and expect a level of football and a level of competition, right? 
Now, if you can't produce that, Jose, if you're not good enough, which you're not anymore, if you ever was, because as far as I know, Ferreira was always your assistant, which says a lot. I think you're a fraud, my friend. I think we're either going to draw this game nil-nil or we're going to lose one nil. Believe me, it wouldn't take much for Southampton to beat us. I just can't see with the way he plays how we're going to win this game. Because if you if you play, listen, right, yeah, we were attacking. We were attacking against young boys in the first half. But it was all from counter-attack football. It wasn't from, you know, neat little passes. And all Pogba does now is lump it forward because that's what he's told to do. Pogba's a great passer on the floor as well. He's got good skill on the ball. He can score goals. He's a good free kick taker. But every player... A Jose supporter the other day said he tells the players to attack, but they just decide not to. Are you that naive to actually believe that? Footballers are like soldiers. I've said it a million times before. They do as they're told. There's no ifs or buts about it, or they don't try. Our stats make us look like the laziest team in European football. Why is that? Because he doesn't want the players to move. He wants them to stay like this in defence. He's a defensive-minded manager who hopes he can get a lucky 1-0. That's, that, that's his mentality. That's always been his mentality. But the difference there then, I think, because he had a really good defensive assistant, he could focus on a little bit of attack. Um, I think he broke records in Real Madrid for goals scored. Why isn't he doing it here after three years? He had quite a good attack at Chelsea. It was counter-attack, but they scored goals. Remember the Barcelona game at Stamford Bridge? Amazing. What happened to that man? Well, maybe that man never existed. And what we've got is the true Jose Mourinho. And basically, I have no confidence for this game. Do you remember when we used to look forward to Manchester United games? Remember when we used to be excited for Manchester United games? I want your score predictions down below. What do you think? How do you think we're going to do today? Are you Jose in? Jose out? Why are you Jose in? Why are you Jose out? And when do you think? Because whether you're Jose in or out, he's going to get the sack. There's no way out of this. The only Listen, the only way he can turn this around and keep his job now, because he ain't finishing top four, stop deluding yourself. He said he'd be top four by Christmas. Yesterday's presser, he changed it and hoped to be near top four. Again, he's downing those expectations. No good. So the only way he can keep his job now is by winning the Champions League or at least finishing in the semi-final. So he can say, look, did OK. But even then he can't keep his job. He can only keep his job by winning the Champions League and getting in next year's competition. And let's be honest, how is he going to do that? But we've seen lucky teams do well in the Champions League before. Maybe that can be us this season. But unless he does that, it's almost certainly Jose out.